Hi and welcome back. I'm Caroline Best of the Dow of Horsemanship and this is Everything Horses and More YouTube channel. And this is week three of March's theme, choosing the path of least resistance. And I'm working with our little Mustang here, Lando. So again, I'm here to help train your eye. Sometimes things get stressful when we need to help the horse work through and create a new normal, a new behavior, a new way of thinking and perceiving. Um, so it's hard to let go of the old and adopt the new for all of us. So I'm still working with the theme, um, choosing the path of least resistance when developing him and rehabilitating him and gentling him. So go ahead and leave me some comments about what you see as far as what I'm doing when I'm choosing the path of least resistance, even when it doesn't look like that. I'm going to use this opening as his opportunity to think out mm -hmm. and use the whip as a communication tool to help drive him. Good boy. And turn him around. So it takes a lot of skill and timing because he could bolt out of here, but I'm not worried about him. Come on. Good boy. Good. Yeah. Zor out. This is thank you for checking in with me. Yep. So we're gonna work behind the drive line, which is the middle of his withers. So anything behind the withers drives a horse forward. Anything at the shoulder or in front of him stops or turns him. So we're gonna work, set your, your environment up to help you. Good boy. And this is also thresholds. So he's, he's also like, wow, man, I don't know where I'm at. I'm most comfortable with you. So I'm killing many birds with one stone right now. I'm working on his trust, his comfort, his thresholds, technique, good. So notice how he'd rather walk into me than bolt out of here because he feels most safe with me and I don't want to ruin that. Always, ent always entertaining around here. So turn him around, you got it. Zor, out, I don't need any help. Thank you. Thank you. You like Biggie. I know, you guys are buddies. Yep, come on. You gotta figure it out. Nope, nope, yep. I'm just gonna hold right here until you figure out to come forward. Thank you to release yourself. Yeah, you can release yourself. So you gotta just figure out how to come forward and not pull so much. Come on. Good boy. There you go, baby. Come on. Yep, you can't go backwards. You gotta come forward. Good boy, Zor. I'll let you know when I need your help. Good. Nope. You can rear all you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on. Thank you, Blue, but that's not helping. He's quite the little rear, isn't he? Yeah. Tap his butt. Hard. Yep, and then go back and forth. Yep. Good girl, come on. Keep coming, good, excellent. Excellent. Let's go. Yep, you got all that energy, let's go. So one of the things you see often, you know, they're, get the horse out of your space. So they're doing this to the whip, you know, scaring the horse. I don't want him to be a scared. I don't want him to be scared of the whip. I want him to respect it and understand it. All right, so how can I set myself up for success working with him outside of this round pen? Ding, 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 ding! How can I create an opportunity? Because what did he want to do, guys? He wanted to stay out there with the herd. He, first he wasn't sure because his comfort has been here since he's been here. And then he's like, oh my gosh, I'm not going back in there. It's too lonely. So you bring horses in and you start to work with him around the horses. If that's, his, and this could go for a buddy sour. This could go for him obviously being more comfortable. Good boy. So start working with him around horses, sending him around them. Nope, and he can't rear. I'm not gonna let him rear. I'm gonna shut that door and stop it. So there's only one way out right now. See, this is the same behavior I've just created, haven't I? 
just created the same behavior we got out there. So again, how could the path of least resistance would be taking months and months and months to just be in here and work more slowly with him, more gradually with him, more bonding, like spending hours with him. I don't have that and he's not my horse. So when you do have a certain time constraint, you've got to learn how to work in a way that doesn't compromise the horse, the way that keeps the horse learning and moving forward and being open and confident. So often we get under these time constraints and we make things so forceful and we resort to operant conditioning, which is positive and negative reinforcement. Good boy, which is pressure and release or the principle make the right thing easy and the wrong thing difficult. All right, let's wrap this up, cutie pie. He's like, God, thank God, get her out of here. That was stressful. Look at you, you're still coming. That's the way it should be. Come here. Come on, let's get a drink of water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're tired. Come here. All right. I know he's got to be thirsty. So that's it for today. Think about the many ways that path, choosing a path of resistance showed up. And also, you know, he had a lot more opposition today. We took things up a notch. Um, I asked for more, a lot more than I normally do. But I've been going slow to build what's important, to build his comfort, his safety, his trust to that, that point. But now, yeah, I mean, I want him out of here by the end of next week. He's got to be over there in a field full of grass. So we've got to work on getting him out of here and over there. But how can you do it so that it works the best for him while you're still able to teach him? All right, thank you. I look forward to your comments, and may you always be one with your horse.